Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tom from CT Tutorials, and tell me doing a review on iWork 09 for the Mac. So, um, it's a package, and it comes with three apps: one called Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. Now, this is basically a, a replica of Microsoft Office. Just Apple um, created it. And this is built for, and this will not work on Windows, so it's specifically made for the Mac. So that's one thing that's really good, because you know it's going to be focusing on the uh, Mac operating system. Rather, so yeah. So, we have Pages. Pages is basically um, Microsoft Word. But it's, I think, personally, for my opinion, it's a lot better. So let's get a look at it. So when we first open it, we're going to get this screen. So now, you can choose any template. So we have blank, we have the landscape, or we can go to like a form template. Envelopes, letters, you know, we can get like newsletter um, templates and you just edit all that. Brochures, flyers, so we have all these as you can see. But we're just going to start blank so we can just, you know, get into this. So okay, as you can see, the um has a different look, of course, but I'd like to look better. So when you first start, you're probably gonna want to make it uh, title. So if you put your uh, hover your mouse over here, you're gonna get a title bar, and you can just go ahead and type in whatever your title may be. Also, something weird, anything. Alright, so now this is a feature I really like about WordArt that Office does not have. Is that if you highlight, let's say you want to make the title look like a, a title format, highlight it, and go to this little um, symbol, and now just click on title, and now it's in a title format. And, you know, you can just space that to be in the middle, so be like, say so you gave your title. And now for this, if you want it to be like, body bullet you know you can do that heading two head one all of these so you know and then you can just go to free form to stab it custom whatever you want to be so that's something very very good that they added and the ribbon is I like it because it's not that complex it's more simple very good um as you can see the ribbon has basically the main things you need like Microsoft Office kind of like these have a lot of useful useless things up there so I really like to rip lip ribbon a lot so that's pages a replicate of word art so now the another next um app we have would be numbers numbers acts as Microsoft Excel um that's probably the least used app of <laughs> iWork because this is like for graphs and all that so let's get started as you can see we're in the same interface as word art as you can see we have the blank then we can start off with like a preview template as you can see we won't get much but it's all you need so we'll start with the blank of course just double click on it if you want to open it alright so as you can see it's a pretty simple feature to it it kind of has that photoshop that chart down there for like your layers and all but yeah so I this is um I think it's a lot better because it's more simple. I mean maybe if you're more of a guy that needs this, maybe you won't like it. But I just like it because it keeps it simple, and you're still getting the features of Microsoft Office Excel. But um you can add like all the things you need, charts and all that. So numbers just pretty alike to Excel. It's just a better interface. Um, more features actually. I'm not going to go too into them, but that's numbers. Okay, our next one, which is Keynote. Keynote acts as in PowerPoint. Now, Keynote is probably. <laughs> I was really impressed with it because I didn't know what Apple would do with that. 
but they really did um, make it really successful. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So yeah, we're basically getting the same interface as all the programs. You just get the nice little like uh, theme template chooser. Um, this is really great for a uh, PowerPoint, I believe. And if you hover your mouse over whichever one you do, so I'll just do a basic white. You're getting a preview of all like the formats and which you can add to bar charts, which is pretty amazing. So then, if you know like, okay, I'm gonna have like. Uh, like a, a pie chart then you want that theme you know that that's what's gonna look like which is very great and it does it for uh, all of them which is pretty cool so I'm just gonna do a basic white so we can really get into the bare things we need to know the ribbon is quite nice really it's as you can see it looks a lot like PowerPoint you know you got the little two bars titled and your uh, caption Sit there for your new slide, simple as that. Um, the themes are pretty nice for this. I'm not, I mean, that's something I really like. The themes on uh, Excel, uh, not Excel, PowerPoint, were not that great, really. Um, they're more just like for like the elementary, like just to mess around, have fun. But this is a lot better. Just click on it, it'll apply a theme, and it gives it a nice look. And there's a lot of themes out there guides and it will just teach you everything it's great you definitely need to look into all this and it, it doesn't apply to um, every slide so that's actually one thing I liked with with PowerPoint when you chose a theme that wasn't even good it would apply to all of them and it was just a hassle to go through all of that so um the ribbon again is very nice kind of like a uh, word art have those then you have charts, shapes, and table text box, and all that. So, um, that's pretty much uh, iWork09. So, if you'd like to try the free trial, then all you need to do is go to. I'll add the link in the direct link in the description www.apple.com. Then the search bar, you're just going to type in iWork09. Then you can. This will just give you like a brief description of every program, but if you want to try it, just go under the downloads, then free trial, and you're just going to get um, a 30-day trial, as you can see. Um, one thing that I really never found that videos went into was um, the interface of the programs, which I think I covered for you guys for the bare needs. But another thing is they never really gave a review on it, so if I was to give you a review, I'd have to say i work 09 is it's great i love it it's it's built for the mac specifically so you know that's a good heads up to it but i really liked it it did what you need to do and it's cheap too it's only a 79 dollars you check that out but um i really liked it if i was going to compare it to microsoft office what would i say was better um if you're running if you're running a mac then it has to be iWork09. Believe me, it's it, it, it's so, it's just amazing, really. It's great, and it's very cheap, and it just does what you need to do, and it has those extra features, but it doesn't ruin it. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. So um, please rate, comment, subscribe. So I'll catch you guys later.